Welcome to Fight Cancer Global's informational video series. Our aim is to empower individuals with knowledge and resources to combat cancer. Today's video will explore the differences between lumpectomy and mastectomy, offering valuable insights and actionable steps to aid you and your family in the fight against cancer. Here is the differences between lumpectomy and mastectomy. A lumpectomy is a breast conserving surgery that involves removing only the cancerous tumor and a small margin of surrounding healthy tissue. In contrast, a mastectomy involves the removal of the entire breast, including the nipple and areola. After a lumpectomy, the breast will generally maintain a more natural appearance, although it may be slightly smaller. Following a mastectomy, the breast will be entirely removed, which can significantly change a person's body image. Lumpectomy patients usually require radiation therapy following surgery to minimize the risk of cancer recurrence. In contrast, mastectomy patients may not always need radiation therapy, depending on the stage of cancer and other factors. Lumpectomy typically involves a shorter recovery time compared to mastectomy, as it is a less invasive procedure. Mastectomy patients may require a longer hospital stay and more time to heal. The risk of local cancer recurrence is generally higher for patients who undergo a lumpectomy compared to those who have a mastectomy. However, survival rates for both procedures are often similar when appropriate adjuvant therapies are administered. Breast reconstruction is an option for patients who undergo a mastectomy. Reconstruction can be performed immediately or at a later date, using implants or the patient's tissue. In some cases, lumpectomy patients may also require reconstructive procedures to achieve symmetry between breasts. In summary, the main differences between lumpectomy and mastectomy include the extent of surgery, breast appearance, radiation therapy requirements, recovery time, risk of local recurrence, and reconstruction options. Choosing the right surgical approach depends on the stage and characteristics of the cancer, as well as the patient's preferences and overall health. Thank you for viewing this informational video brought to you by Fight Cancer Global. For additional content and support, you can visit our website at www.fightcancerglobal.org, where you will discover a great many resources as well as a supportive community that knows your cancer journey. Let us join forces and make a meaningful impact in the fight against cancer.